and welcome to another episode of DoCrafts TV. Today we're joined by Becky James, who's going to show us some freestyle decoupage. Hi Becky! Hi Katie! What are we going to be making today? Well today we are going to take a fresh look at decoupage Ooh. and how you can get the most out of Ooh, it and do excellent. something a little bit different. Fantastic. So what we're going to do is we're going to be making this card. Very beautiful. And this actually takes um, about five or six packs of decoupage and little bits of elements out of them. Oh fantastic. And we, I call it freestyle decoupage. It's brilliant. So, we're going to give so rather than just to using them. one pack and using just doing the bits that are in it, we're going to mix it Absolutely. all up. Absolutely, taking Fantastic. your decoupage a stage further. Brilliant. So this is one with cupcakes on. I'm going to put that to one side because we're going to use the frame out of that. But I've also taken elements from this um, rose one here, and then we've also got butterflies Brilliant. and pansies. Um, there's a gardening one here, which is lovely. We'll put that to one side. There's flowers. This one with the cat on, you know I'm a bit of a cat yeah, lover. Yeah, I was going to say, and that one would have been the one i choose for you. Yeah, so <laughs> we've got that one. And um, we've got the, the one lovely, with the gardens on here. They are, they're they, really They've beautiful. all got this sort of foil detail, haven't yep, they, as they well? They have. Now, I've got a piece of spare card here, and the reason for that is, this is going to be my base, which is this lovely garden scene, and we're going to build the detail up around it. But if you just look, it's not quite the same shape. Ah, oh, yeah. But you don't need to worry about that. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly pop some glue on here and pop that on there. And then I want as much of that showing in the frame as I can have. Okay. But I'm not worried, because I'm going to work down the right-hand side, I'm not worried if part of that is actually card. Oh, I see what you mean. You're going to cluster your bits on one side. Yeah. So I see. Okay. That That's makes it. total sense. So let's just get these bits of foam um, backing off the foam here. I've, I've put the foam on so that we've just got the frame a little bit raised up. Yeah, you a bit can of put, dimension yeah. is good, isn't it? Yeah. Now I want to get as much into this as I can. And I know, I know myself, I'm going to be working around the one side. So if I just oh, lift I that up, can you see, I've got as much of the picture here, but I know when I'm doing my decoupage, I'm going to work around this area here. So it doesn't matter so that this is white that, here. Right. Good. So, and now all we're going to do is we're going to cut away the excess. And I'm just cutting as if I'm cutting underneath. Um, oh, I see. You're just sort of sneaking your scissors sneak, just yes, under just the frame there. Yes, just sneaking underneath because it doesn't matter. So I've already got here. Now, if I just show you, there's a wide selection. These are just little cute, bits of the little bits of the decoupage designs. So I'm pretty certain how I want them to go. But when you're doing this, take a little bit of time, move things round, just pop them. You know, have a look, see if you're happy with where they're sat, that sort of thing. I know that the cat sits quite nicely on the corner there. Um, it's like looking in, isn't it? Like yeah, this little window it, into the garden. Exactly, exactly. There's a lovely conservatory one, and you could almost make it like you're looking into the oh, conservatory nice. through window. Uh, so you're literally just popping them on, aren't you? Yeah. You're not gluing anything down yet. I'm not gluing anything down yet. Okay. I just want to make sure I'm happy with where everything sits. And I'm filling in any holes. So as you can see, as I'm doing it, I'm looking at it and thinking, right, there's a little hole there. I know I want that little... Little. And like with regular 3D decoupage, you want the bits that are going to be at the front highest up, don't Absolutely. you? So you want to put those in front Absolutely. of the bits that you want at the background. That's it. Now I'm just going to tuck that little rose in there. Those sit nicely. And then we'll just pop a couple of the butterflies on. And now I'm going to give you a tiny little tip for when you're doing your own. Right, I've got my iPad with me, but you can use your iPhone or any phone that you've got that's got a camera on it, yeah. anything like that. Or you can use your digital camera at home. And what I'm going to do, now I'm happy with where that is, I'm actually going to take a photograph of it. Ah, uh, I, yeah, I know. This is, a, this is a, a, a big pet peeve of mine. I've assembled my scrapbook page and then I realise I've got to glue everything down and That's I it. if I take everything away I'm not really going to know where anything's going to go again so yeah. this this so will solve my problem there I have my picture now I don't know if we can see that on screen know. but we'll give it a go not sure if we can but we can you know we can but put this photo on the on the website as well that is your resource to go that's brilliant so and we can just pop that yeah right I can here. pop that there and I've now got my glue gun so now we can safely take all this away and start yeah, building it up. Exactly. Oh, that's very cunning. So what I do is I have I usually decide where I want to start. 
And for me, it's going to be the cat. And I'm going to move everything else away. And now I'm going to start sticking it. Now, you can use, as you can see, I'm using my glue gun. You can use your, your foam tape. You can use your silicone glue, yeah. whatever your choice is. Um, and then I just start to build up in the design that I had in mind. Actually, you can get a surprising amount of 3D, can't you, with, um, with, you can. with hot glue? You can. Because it sort of quite sort of comes out in a sort of thick stream, doesn't it? You can. And the other thing about it is that it's, um, it's nice and quick to set. So if yeah. you're having to get a project together quite quickly, for me, this is the way to do it. Yeah. So, last little bit there. And then that's a little butterfly to the side. I'm going to pop them. that. We didn't need those ones. Yeah, I'm not going to need those. So I'm going to pop that to one side. Right, now, don't worry if it all looks messy in, underneath. Nobody's going to see that. No, it's not going to. So I'm just going to put show. some 3D foam on because we're just going to have a quick look at the background of the card and then we're going to apply it to that. Fantastic. And then we're ready. That's so simple. It is. Now, I've actually used, because there's quite a lot of borders in those... Um, in those designs as well. Uh, yeah. So I've actually used some of the borders on yeah, here. Those, so what I've done, I've taken the papers because the papers are made perfectly to so match. So this is one of the papers it from is. one of the topper packs? Yes, okay. it is. And I've gone round, I've actually matted it onto silver because of the silver foiling, so to keep oh, the themes going through. Thing. And then we've also got here some of the Oyster Blush matching ribbons as well. And I've gone for the thicker ones here. There's some oh, yeah, lovely nice. thick ones. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. I love this um, sort of uh, sort of beigey, soft, sandy colour. It's really yeah, pretty. Yeah, that's really nice. I love those. Goes with anything. Can be used for anything. And also another new favourite of mine. This is um, the silk ribbon in the Bellissima range. Oh, that's a little and, bit special. Isn't yeah, it? it is a little bit special. It's very, very soft. Very, you need very to get your delicate. Hands on this really to appreciate how yeah. lovely that is. It's really sort of soft yeah. and luxurious it feeling. It is. It is. So that's what we've used. And as you can see, I've layered them up here. A little bit of twine Beautiful. and one of the borders to match through. And all we're going to do, just a couple of finishing touches. Right. I'm just. I've made a lovely bow with that. I'm just going to That's lovely, that isn't it? That's really nice. It is so delicate, so feminine and pretty. So we're going to do that. And then I've got one of the Madame Payro buttons here. And again, I just pop a, a great big blob of glue on the back there. Squidge it on there. Squidge it on. That's beautiful. And I think just under there. Oh. Under there. There's a <laughs> sentiment. And we are just going to pop that in. Oh, pop that just in there as well. Tucking and that's there. it. There we go. Wonderful. How simple is that? That was fantastic. And it's unique. Nobody else is going to have one quite like no. it. No. Brilliant. There we go. That's lovely. Um, if you've enjoyed Becky's project, as I said, you can find all the details online at docrafts.com. Um, and we'd really like to see what you've been getting up to as well. If you've been making some projects, perhaps with some decoupage or with some toppers, um, or just with your favourite collection, um, why not pop them into your members gallery at docrafts.com and we could feature them on a future episode of Docrafts TV, or it could even be featured in a future issue of Creativity magazine. So until next time, happy crafting.